after we're both dressed and in a cute setting and all of that and really honestly the best time that we do this in our real day-to-day -day life is early in the morning when he first wakes up because he's in the best mood so that's us in bed in pajamas still in the night in the night light but this is what it actually kind of looks like kind of actually looks like the cat and the fiddle Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. What? Oh, the cat and the moon, and the cow and the dog, and the dish and the spoon. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. That's Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh no, Humpty Dumpty. Uh oh. Little Boy Blue. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy who's, who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Ah ha! Look a look of. Uh, get down. Get down. Good boy. Uh-oh. He, he, just a moment. He has my hair. <laughs> Renders me a bit ineffective. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Aw, they were together all the time, like you and Ozzy. Forever and ever. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Well, there's no depiction of a of a crown that you wear in this. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider. A spider that sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. Ay ay ay. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping on the windows, crying through the locks. Are the children in their beds? It's now eight o'clock. Da 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 da. The end. How was that? How was that? Was it a story? Was that a nice story to hear? Was that a nice story to hear? No, don't look at that. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Hi. Hi. Where'd you go? Oh, big yawns. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a big yawn. It was. It was really big. Hi. Hi, Teddy. Yuck. Yuck. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. You want to see the baby? You, you see the other mom? Uh-oh. Teddy. T-H-E-O-D-O-R-E. Theodore. Theodore. Oh, I dropped our book. <laughs> You're so worried about what is going on. What is this? Is that better? I can see all of you. You can see out the window. You see a pretty tree. Oh no, it's not time for a morning nap yet. Hey. T-H-E-O-D-O-R-E Theodore D 
the door. T H E O T O R E. The door. The door. T H E O T O R E. The door. The door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my skin well you are very serious about this camera what is it doing I guess that's one of the benefits of being up and, and moved is the camera's never set this close the um, where is it? I knocked it off the bed. Nursery rhymes are really, really important to have in your repertoire for reading with baby. A lot of people know them more so for the <laughs> the weird backgrounds of some of the stories, but they are very useful and literacy learning because they contain rhyming and alliteration, um, different sentence format. There, there's so much that um, is used in them that when you use them, you're teaching those skills. Obviously, this one, there's, you know, rhyming is almost all of them. Um, alliteration, you know, and Annie's alligator. I don't know why she has one, but you know, re repeating sounds. Um, hi. Those are both really important foundational skills for literacy and reading. Hmm. You're so serious. Hi. Hi. Those are both really important, like, building blocks for reading later. So, how do you teach a baby anything? You just do it over and over and over and over, and they'll, they'll learn it really quick. They're super smart. Like, babies are crazy smart. The more you do in these first couple years, the easier the rest will be educationally and obviously I'm not saying that like all babies if you do exactly this are gonna be you know they're gonna have this SAT score but what I'm saying is there is a window of growth that if you are diligent and put the work in now it will benefit them to whatever degree for the rest of their lives guaranteed reading reading every day um, you know, little little songs. Songs are really, really good. I'm going to teach him how to spell his name before you know it. I, I sing him that song every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, it's super short. I'm going to make a video about um, different songs for, like, the different number of letters. He has eight letters, so it needs to work for eight. Like, I wouldn't do the alphabet because it would be... Uh, T H E O D O R E is so that's not smooth at all. But um, for Jaka, T H E O D O R E works great, and the so three syllables or the syllables happen to fit too. The adore, the adore. Yay! You like your song? That's his song. And I sing it every day, multiple times a day. And if you just put a couple little things in, reading time, little songs that will teach things. Like I like that's how I taught my kids their phone numbers, the, um, their addresses. I made made it to a tune and just sang it every time we were in the car, or at least one car trip per day every time. You know, whatever we would sing it a couple of times, nice and loud in the car. But I have a lot of kids, so it was like. Like we would yell it kind of thing, but you can make it fit wherever it fits into your life, obviously. 
but um oh i'm gonna be making some videos about like how to what songs you can use for seven letters six letters five letters how to um make one with the numbers so that when you're um like when you encounter things and you count them in the real world like say you're you have to go up three steps to get in to the doctor's office or something so you're going to be counting one two three well i guess three is kind of short but um maybe a little bit longer how to put those into songs so that it even it, it adds that extra layer of uh, memorable uh, I don't know the word that I'm looking for it makes it a more memorable uh, experience it increases its effectiveness so to speak what are you gonna do to me <laughs> he's got a thing where he just grabs handfuls of body in hair huh you're kind of wild well, he looks really serious and distracted, so I'm going to get off of, oh, I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm going to get off of this video, so I'll quit looking at it. See if we can read a little bit more. Um, and he's probably going to go down for morning nap, and I am going to mop my floors. Ah, ah, I'm going to mop my floors and vacuum today. And dust and window, like, like dust and glass. I normally do that on Mondays, but I went to a, con a Nelly concert with my sister, actually, last night. So I did some different cleaning and prepping yesterday. But today I'm doing floors while he takes morning nap, hopefully. And it's going to be perfect. He's going to sleep the whole time. Yes, my sweepers aren't going to wake him up. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, so, <laughs> this is not exactly uh, as well planned out as I tried to make um, <clears throat> the more formal content of us dressed and my hair combed nicely and he's in a perfect outfit with no dribble and we're sitting out on the back porch swing and that's beautiful and of course we try to read out there during the day too but this is really the time early in the morning that we we effectively learn <laughs> so you'll have to find the time that's best for you but um that's it I'm gonna read to my baby uh, see you guys in the next one.